Hey guys, what's up? This is Jack2505 and here are my first impressions of the Skull and Bones closed beta that went live on the 15th of December and runs until the 18th of December. It's a 6 hour beta that you had to have signed up for months ago with Ubisoft. All get an invite from a friend. I was sent a code from Ubisoft and was given two more codes to give to friends. I managed to give one code to a friend and sent a message to the rest of my Discord to let them know about the code as well. Skull and Bones can be played with up to two friends via invites, matchmaking and open world invites as well. Skull and Bones will be released in full 16th of February 2024 and will be available three days early with Ubisoft Plus or if you buy one of, the, one of these special editions. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. After the introduction of the game, you're placed into an instant matchmaking with other players who have also washed up to shore. You can see the other players sailing the seas and other players can actually invite you and vice versa along with open world chat, making the game instantly sociable on arrival. When sailing the seas, you can be attacked by sharks and you can take them out with your sharp wooden sticks. I'm sure you'll be able to upgrade these weapons later, of course, and I thought this was a really good touch. Once you reach, reach the beach, you collect your first quest, which will be collected materials, and the open world map is very clear and simple, with easy to follow waypoints on land and sea. You'll come across shipwrecks as well, which has its own area that you can explore. To enter the shipwreck, it involves like a little mini game in which you get around three tries to unlock the shipwreck, so you have to get it in like the green area. Once you enter, you can find extra quests, reading material, and practice shooting cannons, which is great. The main social area in the beta is called St. Anne, which is alive and kicking with traders, captains, workers ready to work with you. And this is where you'll earn your reputation and start leveling. You see, this port rises on Julian's patronage. And that merchant's so rich, he pisses liquid gold. All I receive is a letter. That fucker wipes his ass to smear my face. I send a full haul of goods and his demands triple. I need more captains. A proper pirate, I see. <laughs> oh, you need a keen eye for prizes. Cully, I saw that little tub you washed up in. It's halfway to Flotsam. You got spirits? But you're not ready yet. Next, you're going to meet up with Skurlock, who's looking for captains and sends you on your way to build a new ship and new weapons. Skull and Bowls has a dynamic weather system, which really adds to the mood and atmosphere of the game. The harder the winds, the tougher the sails. Crafting your ship is an interesting feature. You start with a very small boat that allows you to sail and that's about it but once you craft a bigger ship you can attach cannons for each side and this will prepare you for battle also managing the ship with furniture as well and there's further customizations which are obviously not available in the beta right now but it looks like the ship will be your identity and will be suited to your individual needs once you take your new ship out to the next mission that's going to be taking out ai ships and taking out and basically taking their loot you get bonus loot for wrecking and boarding the ship. So you have to get really close to the other ship, press the R button on your keyboard or whatever it is on, on pad and grab that loot. And blown up ships also looks very impressive. Skull and Bones so far seems to be a ship only battle game and only you're only gonna be on fort in safe towns. That's what I that's the impression that I'm getting so far. There doesn't seem to be any on foot gun or like sword fights or on board ship fights at the moment. I'm not sure this will change in the future or maybe it's not the identity of this game. We'll just have to wait and see. Overall, I'm pleased with this beta, like pleasantly surprised. Skull and Bowls was not a game that I was looking forward to or was on my radar at all. But when I got the opportunity months ago, I signed up to the beta because it's, it, this has been a... A game that's been in the build-up for quite a long time and I got lucky with a cold invite. The six-hour 
restriction on the beta is annoying though I'm like i want to have more time so you've got to be really careful with the t basically with your game time over the weekend and not basically not waste your six hours but bring to all in one session so i wanted to do at least a few hours make my video and then jump back into the game i'm not sure why the beta had to be six hours um, over the weekend but six hours is better than nothing PC performance is very good. I have no in-game issues, no crashes or performance issues, and I love the in-game social aspects, encouraging players to team up, and I think more modern games need to learn from Skull and Bones in the beta. There's actually more social features than some games which are in its full release. My friend Alias played with me. He played on the Xbox Series X, and from his side also no issues either. It performed great on console, and for me on PC, also great performance for a beta if you've been lucky to receive an invite code let me know in the comment section below what your experience has been like also if you've been um, not lucky to get a, um, a beta code let me know what you think of the game so far by watching youtube videos this video live streams on twitch etc let me know what you think about skull and bones are you looking to pre-order the game are you looking to buy the game on the 16th of february let me know I don't want to tempt fate, but I think Skull and, Fo Skull and Bones could be a, a hit game if the initial version of the game is solid. So what I mean by that is the vanilla game, the story, the mechanics. Is it going to keep people coming back? And I think this game could be quite quite a watchable game on, um, on live stream on YouTube and Twitch. And, and could be great for clips of making crafting videos and ship videos and exploring and adventure stuff i think this game could really be something but that could be hopeful hope, um hopeful thinking skull and bones was not on my radar before but now it is and this could be a good thing i'm having a lot of fun with this beta so far now thank you very much for making it to the end of the video my name is jack2505 don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video